So here is our first tiny egg. We'll see if we continue to get any more. Our quail are now 10 weeks old. We still don't have any eggs, and we have four males and two females. So we're gonna harvest the four males today because we don't need them, because we don't need fertilized eggs. And I'm hoping that will reduce some stress on the females and they will start laying eggs. I'm going to harvest them the standard way, which is you just cut off their heads and then you skin them and you cut out the backbone and take out the entrails. Here they are, four dressed out quail. And then I have two females. But wait, you say, I can count. Four plus two is six. I thought you had seven quail. Well, I did have seven quail, and then I had an incident about three weeks ago, and here's some footage from that. It is week seven. I still have seven quail, no eggs, but Unfortunately today I do have some sad news. When I was moving the quail hut today, I was being very careful, but right at the last minute when I was moving it, one of them decided to flap back there and stick a leg under and their leg got stuck and then they flapped all around and they broke their leg. I decided that I'm gonna harvest it so that it's not in any more pain and also because ultimately whether the quail laid an egg or not, its eventual life was gonna be harvested for food on our farm. So there's the leg that is broke. I feel really, really bad about this for this little quail today. That is the way it's gonna go. Now that I've harvested this quail, because before I couldn't really tell, but now I can see that when it broke its leg, it did actually puncture the skin. So, I don't think it would have healed from that and it would have had a bad infection so this was the best course of action even though it is disappointing and unplanned. Poor, poor little quail. And here is part of my dinner tonight. It's just a very basic pan fried quail breast. We'll see how it tastes. I've now raised something, harvested it and eaten it. It tastes like a cross between chicken and dark turkey meat. Of course, you know, I didn't cook it in any fancy way. I just pan fried it because I was just trying to salvage a bad situation. But I'm proud of myself for, you know, going through all these stages. So we'll see what happens next. Here is everything left over from the quail. I know a lot of people save a lot of stuff, but we're not doing that. And then we have the waste water. We're gonna take both of these and throw them way, way, way out in the field and they will be fertilizer and also bits and pieces for other animals. Now that we've harvested our other four males, we have moved the quail hut one more time and I'm hoping that with things being a little quieter for them, that they will go ahead and start laying within the next two weeks. We are having a nice farm dinner tonight. These are potatoes, which we grew on the farm. And in the oven is our quail. So today we are at 12 and a half weeks for the quail and when I got home today I had a surprise for my mom who said that she went out in the quail hut and she found an egg! It's our first egg! Super excited! So here is our dramatic recreation of that event. Hi. Hi. Well looky here. We have an egg! <laughs> it's such a tiny little egg. But I am going to take that egg inside. I'm gonna crack it open and cook it in a pan. So here is our first tiny egg. We'll see if we continue to get any more. But this is super exciting because there's a lot of time and effort that went in to get this one egg. So I've got my pan. I got my wee little egg. I'm waiting for it to heat up. And then I'm gonna crack it in there and we're gonna cook it. Here we go. There's my little quail egg. Look how big that yolk is though. So you can see the yolk is really, really big. 
so here's my first little quail egg. It tastes good, it tastes like an egg. And there's definitely more yolk. So that's pretty good. Now I only have to wait two or three more days, maybe four or five, and I might actually have a real meal. This has been our grand quail adventure this year. I bought some hatching eggs, I hatched out seven, and then I had a total of three female and four males. Unfortunately, I lost that one female, and then I harvested the four males, and then I had two quail left, and I now finally have my first egg. My process worked with having the quail outside thus far. I'm going to see if the quail continue to lay, and then I'll have to decide whether or not we're going to carry these two quail through the winter. Otherwise, I may plan to just hatch out more eggs in the spring. So stay tuned and we'll see what happens.